confetti club it is pixie and it is time for the new york haul i know some people don't like hauls but that's okay i did five whole vlogs there's five whole pieces of pixie content also from the new york trip but i did an itty bitty teensy tiny itsy bitsy little spider amount of shopping i did like a medium amount of shopping with what shall i start i'm gonna start with some of the bigger slash more favorite exciting things. I did pick up from Trash and Vaudeville, which I believe is the fourth vlog, these shoes by Why Are You. I think in the video I said they were the Cosmo Sky Highs. That's not what they're called at all. These are called the Sky Skies. It might still be Cosmo. I don't know. It's literally just Sky Sky, but I love them. I am so glad I got these. I hummed and I hawed and I wasn't sure because I just bought another pair of shoes that day but I love shoes you can never have too many shoes and they're wonderful and they're so so comfortable I know do they look comfy do they look sensible no ma'am do they feel really comfortable do I feel really sturdy in them yes ma'am as well so these very good choice I think they're 140 something US not too bad not too different than what you would pay online and i yeah they're like freakishly comfortable i'm really glad that i got these and they're a nice calm nude neutral as in they're kind of iridescent and iridescent is kind of my nude it kind of goes with anything so like you got an outfit don't know what to wear with them cloud shoes my second shoe adventure from new york was at spark pretty that is in the same vlog as trash and vaudeville and it is these absolute beauties i think these are also no these are current mood i saw these online around like november or december of 2017 and i wanted them so bad and i almost got them but they were out of stock in my size which is an eight my boy a freaking wit a freaking hatchy and <laughs> They had them at Spark Ready in my size and they're just amazing. They don't go up all the way. I don't know why. I have another pair of shoes that are like that. Maybe I have thick calves, perhaps, but they're just gorgeous. We're gonna give him the close up he deserves. Excuse me? These in my mind are also almost a neutral. <laughs> because it's like white and then it has all the colors you can see some of the gems have fallen out of their little rhinestone thing but it does come with a little ziploc baggie of extra ones to replace which i mean is okay i mean you could have just glued the gems in better to begin with especially because these also were like 130 140 bucks but i love the frick out of them i haven't worn them with an outfit yet because they're just so precious and amazing. Definitely, these are comfier, more of an everyday cash shoe. These are a little bit more fancy. Hashtag night out on the town. Hashtag going to the theater. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. They remind me of my grandmother, Granny, if you are watching. She's probably not. Do you like my shoes? Yeah, these are so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so glad I got these. I got back from New York probably like a week and a half, two weeks ago, and since I knew I was gonna film a haul, I didn't take any of this stuff out of the bag, so this is kind of like a re-unboxing. It's like Christmas 2.0, birthday 2.0. Also, I'm excited to finally be able to pot all the sh away because it's been sitting in bags in my filming corner for like a week and a half. Ooh, I got a couple shirts. Okay, so this is a tote bag. Let's do the tote bag first. I got this tote bag at Kino Kunya. People commented letting me know there's a third floor with a cafe and anime figures and I'm so mad at myself for not knowing that. I have gone to Kino Kunya multiple times, multiple years and never knew that. Why am I so dumb? I don't know, but I got this tote bag there. Oh, I got this t-shirt. This is not from Kino Kunya. This was from a really cute Asian goods store in Chelsea Market. Look how cute. I got this New York tea and another New York tea that might be in the wash. However, perhaps I will find a photo. Perhaps I will not and I will be a bad YouTuber. But 
I really like this. I always love getting New York shirts and like touristy things that are like a little, little memory of the trip, but a lot of the New York shirts are really lame. But this one is really cute and like artsy and I love it. I got a scarf from a lady on the street. Yes, very nice, very, very sweet. <laughs> I love a street scarf. My mom and I got matching ones. Here's a picture of us being really cute. These I also showed. I'm kind of going rapid fire because this is not that exciting. I went to the Toys R Us that's kind of near Times Square. I went in there and I thought it was the one with the Ferris wheel, but that one apparently closed two years ago, which is very tragic. However, I did get some of the Care Bears Barbie clothes and freaked out. I'm excited to put these on my sweet barbs because I am 20 years old and an adult. I have my very first baby's first fruits. I would love to collect more fruits magazines. Um, you guys know fruit went out of print like around a year ago, but if you don't know, I'm sure most people do, but it is a Harajuku Street Snap magazine that has been around forever and it is like a big part of Harajuku fashion and J fashion history and it is just formatted like this where it is pretty much just a whole picture per page of cuties. Jinyan being a sweetie, a very cute lady in Nile perch. And it was very, very dramatic whenever they announced that it was going out of print because the dude, the photographer, the dude who like made fruits was like, we're not doing it anymore because there's no more cool kids and we were like, that's not very nice. So anyway, I own this now. <laughs> also from Kinokuniya, I did pick up a pop teen. I cannot read Japanese very well, but I am studying. Thank you, my dude. Um, they're so cute. I just thought it was cute. It was on sale. We love having a couple cute little little magazines around. It also came with a freaking Dokin, Dokin Donuts, a Krispy Kreme mirror, which I was quite hype about. How freaking cute is that? So yeah, this is cute. I can have it on my coffee table in my apartment for when I have all of my esteemed guests. Hee <laughs> hee, funny meme. Hee hee hee, I'm one of those things. I'm kind of one of those things, sort of, kind of. Also, I did actually go up to them at the little info desk and asked if they had these magazines, but with Pretty Cure, because I got a couple of those the last time I was there, which was five years ago. However, they had a Prepara one. I am cosplaying Yui for a convention in the summer, which I'm quite hype about. Um, and my friend Wendy is being Lala, and my friend freaking Jenny is being Sophie. I'm so far behind in Idle Time Prepara too. It's a disaster, but like, ah! Me, 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 Let's go, let's go, never give up, let's go. Oh my god, okay, the new pre- This is just turning into a big weeb sesh, but the new uh, pre para series that's coming out in, I think, April, it seems like they're freaking YouTubers because it's like pre-chan and they have like their own channels and they like self-produce and I'm going to lose my mind if they're like little idle YouTubers. You've been warned. Also, I tried to buy this, but it's like $240 instead of the $40 one. So like, I don't hate myself that much. Yes, very good. We love. Oh, I also got to kind of match my tote bag, a very nice, soft, sensible Meow Meow glasses case. Oh, it got scraped a little bit. Okay, I think that will come off if I give him a little rub. I think the artist or the series or whatever the character is Ta-chan, I believe. Oh, this is random and no one probably cares. <laughs> the whole video, my whole channel. However, at that um, Asian little market, Asian specialty store in Chelsea Market, I also got this teeny tiny little heart with flamingos on it that makes a noise. You're welcome. Oh, this was from Artists and Fleas and I showed it in the vlog and this is one of my favorite things that I got in New York maybe. This is from a independent store called Min and Mon. I showed it a little bit there. Um, it is handmade, handcrafted in New York and designed and everything. Um, and I just love it so much. I think it was like 38 bucks. The girl there was very sweet. I also have a large sack from Pick2. Pick2 is heaven. It was an experience. Um, I knew about Pick2 because Bianca, the head of Kawaii Society, who organized my meetup, used to work there 
and it's so cute oh my god kawaii j fashion japanese pop culture freaking pastel wonder mint wonder wondrous i got one of these dudes i've seen these all around they're just so cute i've seen them everywhere it seems like yui from uh idol time prepara is based on this design i hope it's not a total rip but she does this thing where she gets like dreamy eyes and they kind of look like this i just think they're so cute i've seen these around everywhere i love the artist i think they're freaking sweet so i picked one up she is my little angel i can't wait to find a nice special spot for her she's gonna sit there just for the rest of the video nice i picked up this book which I have also seen around quite a bit. I didn't see it at Kinokunya. I looked for it there, but I did see it at pick two. So that is where I snagged it. We got our girl Haruka Kurebayashi on the cover. My, my main girl, literally don't know her at all. Just love her a lot. Kawaii Bible. Again, for my coffee table, for all of my esteemed guests. Aww, this is so cool. And it is all in English which is sick. I can't wait to actually read this. I, of course, didn't read it because it was wrapped in plastic waiting for me to haul it until now, but I'm quite hype. I'm gonna have the most kawiwi coffee table of all time. Okay, my friend John, when we like first met and hung out, one of the first times we hung out, he's tried to say kawaii, but he thought it was kawiwi. And in the past like month, for some reason, that memory came back and I've started saying, oh, that's so kawiwi, like kind of as a joke, but it's become way, way too habitual. So Bible of kawiwi, very good. There is a brand of dolls called Momiji dolls. And I have sneaky sneaked their website so many a time. And one of my favorite ones I've ever seen was right there at pick two. So I was like, they're kind of expensive. I've never ordered them online. They're not crazy expensive. I think they're like 30, 40, or oh, $26 US, which is more than that in Canadian. Anyway, they're just the cutest. And it's the sort of thing where it's like, it's just a doll, like it's gonna sit on a shelf, so I'm like, should I really spend like $30 on this? Yes. Okay, this is my first time seeing him in real life. I love this little angel. And the whole thing is that you can like write a little message in the bottom and you can slip your note in, which I thought was cute as well. I love her so much. I think she's very sweet, very soft. I'm very excited. M-O-M-I-J-I -I, if you want to sneak for yourself. Another thing I had seen floating around online but didn't really ever look into is these My Little Fairy blind box type things that look just like little retro poly pockets but like extra pastel and cute, so you don't know which one you're gonna get. But I got the pink heart, which is always a very good choice. And then inside it's straight up like poly pocket pastel, wonderful, extra, wonder, amazing, fantastico, great, good. <laughs> I like it a lot, it's really pretty. Look at her go. So yeah, you get the little, I wanna say poly, but you get the little fairy girl and she's just itty bitty and she can stand there or you can stand her in the boat. And the boat also is a separate thing. And I think back in the day with the original Polly Pockets, you could like fill some with water and have them like float around. Maybe that's the idea with this. This is beautiful. I wish I had bought more of these. I didn't completely know what they were. I was like, yeah, I've seen those online and they look cute and it's $6, so let's go. And I wish I bought like four. So cute! And this one's like a little, maybe you are supposed to fill that one with water. This is a different one. Or maybe it comes with water. I don't know. I'm clueless. Here's a couple of the other designs you can get. This is the one I got. There's also a rectangly one. Maybe, oh no, there's more. Some super cute ones. I like the perfume ones. That one's like an underwater one. Oh my God, this one has a star fountain. Excuse me, what did I just say? rude as hell. They also had the Sanrio Boys little cup figures. And my favorite character on Sanrio Boys is you. He is cute. He is quirky. He is sweet. He is funny. He cares about his sister even though she's incredibly rude the whole anime and like never really gets much character development. But I wanted him. I bought two of them because I really wanted you. And I got him. If you haven't watched Sanrio Boys, 
you should. I've been recommending it to people, like even people who don't watch anime or who only watch a little bit of anime. It's on Crunchyroll, it's finished now, it's only 12 episodes. How close can I zoom into my little husband? Oh, look at it compared to my little fingernail. He's just a baby. And I got, oh frick, what's his name? They just call him president all the time, but it's Mr. Cinema Roll Boy. He's so sweet and he's hanging on for dear freaking life. Ooh, hi. How are you? <laughs> Sanrio Boys is so good. Please watch it. It's like actually there's good plot and it's actually emotional, but then it's also like cute boys. So like, oh my God. These could be like little earrings. They're like hanging on for dear life. Okay, I'm stopping now. We of course, oh, went to mood fabrics. I only got a couple things cause I didn't really need anything. I kind of just wanted to experience the mood, but I was like, I'm not gonna walk in here and like not get anything. I got a tote. They didn't have the pink ones in, so I got the purple clear mood designer fabrics tote which was quite nice. I also got a shirt, but I've been wearing it nonstop and it is so wrinkly. Maybe I'll show you briefly, but it's very wrinkly because I slept in it last night. I also picked up some iridescent organza in pink. Ooh, ooh. It had the little sticker on my freaking handy. As well as some white, neutral, calm nude iridescent organza as well. One of these, probably the pink one I will use for my Yui Yume Kawa cosplay, but I love these. I think they're super sweet. I also got one of these little dudes. She was like, do you want a rewards card? And I was like, oh no, because I don't live here and I probably won't be back for another like three years probably. And then she was like, it's free and it makes a great souvenir and it has swatch on it. So I was like, yes. I want to do a little bit of scrapbooking from the New York trip, and I also need to finish the scrapbooking from my Japan trip that was a year ago. Do we want ASMR scrapbooking? I always have beautiful, grandiose ideas in my head to do ASMR videos, and then the motivation just like disappears because it's on a second channel that like doesn't have a lot of traction, but in my heart of hearts, if I was Wonder Woman and did everything I planned to do, I would have so many ASMR scrapbooking videos. You bet your ass. We meant to get a medium and my mom just like grabbed the shirt from the medium section and we were like, sweet, good to go. Um, and I was like, wow, this medium's ginormous. Like it feels like an extra large. It was, it, it's an extra large. Whoops, big oops. Um, but it fits like a dress, like it fits like a long dress that I like could have worn to middle school and not violated the dress code. So it's still kind of comfy. It says, thank you mood, because that's what Tim Gunn would say when, um, uh, um, Project uh, Runway, when they were like done uh, shopping at mood, I'm a huge loser, but <laughs> thank you mood. I might like make it a medium, maybe make it like a cute little crappy toppy and give it like pink ringers because I have some more pink knit. I don't know, how ambitious am I? Am I just gonna keep sleeping in my giant XL mood t-shirt? Likely. Oh, I think there's only one little itty bitty baby thing left. I did get another New York shirt, but I'm sure you will see that. I think I wore that in the second vlog and I think it's in the laundry right now. <laughs> I got these headphones! These are from Flying Tiger and I forgot to include them in my Flying Tiger Sensible Home Goods haul because they're not home goods and also because they were in my bag because I was using them because they actually don't suck! These were seven dollars. Seven dollars. Set the lao. And they actually don't suck. I was prepared for them to kind of suck but we have the beautiful color blocking. Ooh ah. The mint. The green. The yellow. The yellow, the pink, the blue, the green, the pink. Oh my lord, they are on the game. And then it has like the little freaking spirally boy so you can like turn the volume up and down. And the audio is good. They're better than my swimmer headphones, which also are cheap and cute. <laughs> Will I ever buy headphones that are normal looking and better? Probably not. All right, my ghosts and goblins. I believe that's the end of the haul. This video's future Confetti Club members are Princess Confetti and Zeddy Poo on Instagram. We got a Luke and we got 
and art. I just saw this one just now and it's just so cute. It's a sweet little painting on a sweet little canvas and I love little starsies and little heartsies. It's just so cute. And from Princess Confetti from Germany. Wow, hello. That's not how you say hello in German. Hello. Um, looking so cute with a purple slash royal blue confetti club tee rocking with the yellow. The purple and the yellow is such a Luke. This is so cute. You also have the rain bee banks. Look at you go. My cat's mad. What's wrong? What's wrong? You never meow here. What is wrong? Do you want to come say thank you to the confetti club? He's walking away. Well, I'm sorry that got um, cat ambushed, but thank you both for your support. I love you so, so much. I love you guys all so much, and I will see you in the next video, which is not this one, because this one is over. Bye!